and it's not like the ones they even do here yeah, they even have sense you will buy meat pie you'll be seeing a for euro inside anything concerning fast food i don't come on my hand my hand is not there again <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Timmy Banjo and if it's your first time here, welcome. How are you? Welcome to my channel. I am Timmy. You can call me Timmy. So if you are a returning subscriber, hi love, what's going on? So today I'm going to be telling you guys the list of things I stopped eating because I just started to think about it that come on, I don't eat this again. I don't eat that again. <laughs> when was the last time I ate so, so, so and so? So I decided I will just do a video talking about the things I stopped eating, which is a huge part of my success story in this my weight loss journey because what if I was doing everything I was doing consistently and I was still eating all those junk food? Hmm? What would have happened? So the first on my list is soft drink. Hmm. See, I don't know why they, anybody sat down in this life and think about creating soft drink with that amount of sugar in it. Guy, if you know the amount of sugar inside soft drink, eh, you will not want to touch it again. One, two, you will wish you could walk up to their company and just arrest all of them because the amount of sugar in that alone, and some people have two in a day. Fam, why would you do that? Why? Anyways, I stopped taking soft drink. I do not drink it at all. There is no ifs, no buts. I don't take it again. The only thing that you can ever see me take in this life, if I'm ever to take soft drink, is um, soda water. And that is like a norm because I even do take that on keto diet. See, yeah, if I'm to drink Coke, maybe it's going to be once in about maybe three months or four months just to, you know, <laughs> remind my taste board what Coke tastes like. Secondly, on my list is fast food. See, yeah, anything concerning fast food, I don't come on my hand. My hand is not there again. Fast what? Pizza, shawarma, all those things that we buy with high amount of sodium inside it, high amount of calories, high amount of fat. The funny thing is, these things have high amount of calorie in it, but they don't make you full. And that's just the annoying part of it. When they don't make you full, obviously, you have to go on and eat something else. Or they make you crave more food like it just gives you a drug like effect to continue eating your stomach is full but your head is telling you eat more eat more eat more because they do something to your brain and it's called like a drug like effect to just continue be wanting food continue eating food so anything consigning fast food Mind is not there again. <laughs> like, I don't come on man for the for fast food. Next on my list is cookies. Wow. If somebody should tell me I'll ever give up Fox cookies. That chocolate, that brown one. God. Oh my god. See, I've not had that cookies in like six weeks now. And this is progress for me because there was a time I used to eat, eat every single night. And the bad part was that I was eating it in the night. Like, why would I be doing that to myself? So that also has high amount of sugar in it. And you know, I just sat and say, you know what? I'm going to be serious with this my life this year. And part of my life is my weight loss journey. If I'm being serious, I will do away with that cookies. So I do not have cookies. All those sweet biscuits. Or if I'm to ever have biscuit at all, at all, at all, at all, low. It's going to be cracker and only cracker and i don't even eat biscuits like that like that the only thing i like to oh. ignore the chicken please the only thing i like to eat that is like biscuits is cookies that fox cookies and you know i stopped eating it already another thing on my list is pastries slash gala <laughs> you see pastries eh that that pastry and soft drinks they are supposed to be in the same family because fam especially donuts maybe the ones they now sprinkle sugar on top and there's jam inside god damn <laughs> what are you doing with your life hmm. i don't take pastries again meat pie sausage and it's not like the ones they even do here they even have sense you will buy meat pie you'll be seeing a for euro inside so why should I even be buying it at all? So if I want to like spend proper money and like eat proper meat pie, I have to be spending like 
close to 1000 naira or like for 500 naira upwards sha. so why should i be buying that when i can buy good food that will be full i'll buy vegetable full one no or i can even make a bowl of salad with 500 naira and i'm not kidding i can make a bowl of salad with 500 naira without the cream anyways i will now go and use that money to buy one meat pie because if i'm buying the 200 naira meat pie i'll be seeing it for real inside so I don't do pastries again. I don't do donuts, sausage, all those things. And gala, gala too is in that family. I do not do that again. We do not know each other again. We can be walking down the street and we do not know who that man is. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this man. So, pastry, gala, all those things. I wash my hand away from them, but. I don't come on my hand for them, so I don't do that again. Next on the list is their sister or their brother, or whatever would I call it, cake. Like, obviously, cake is something that has sugar, flour, all those highly processed food. I'm just thinking about it now. Like, it's always the highly processed food that goes through a lot of process those are the ones that like cause so much harm so much damage to our body so even the highly processed oils also so that's for another video sham but now talking about food highly processed foods are the ones that cause a lot of damage if you think about it now because the stages you go to through to make donuts meat pie all those things is almost the same thing you go to through to make cake so you you have to mix the cake do this do that add sugar add egg so i don't do cake again especially if you have sugar but although some people make sugar free cake like they they make really healthy ones they are red velvet they kind of use beetroot to make it you know have that red rich red coloring in it so there are so many um like healthy cakes out there but obviously they're expensive you know if you want to have some the alternative of something good like something sweet like the healthy type is always expensive but i'm not doing by this so why should i be buying cake but if i see it outside and you know it's affordable perhaps they're selling it in slices i'll totally buy it and you know give it a try so there's a high list of flour 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 things i do not eat again the only thing made of flour that i eat for now is bread and that's because me and bread we have like a very strong bond we have a relationship please there's a construction going on close to my house i need you guys to ignore it as much as possible so the only thing i do is bread and that's because i have like a bond a relationship with bread and i try to do it the healthy way meaning i try to mix it up with them um, vegetables and instead of eating like 10 slices of bread or more i can do four slices of bread because i filled it like a sandwich i filled it in with vegetables i filled it in with protein and so on and so forth so i'm just having little of the bread to eat i try to you know fix it in a way that it will fit my macros and it will fit my journey and you know we are not overdoing the bread also another kind of healthy bread i can have is almond bread or all those um, coconut bread but the thing with those ones are they are made with high fat um, ingredients so i don't think i can do that if i'm on a normal diet whereas if i was on a keto diet definitely i can do almond bread like the person i purchase those those um, items for but if i should make I'm just trying to say there's no how you do bread that it won't be fatty because there obviously has to be butter there obviously has to be egg all those things you know so try and do it in moderation i'm not saying you shouldn't have it but try and do it in moderation all right next on my list is chocolate sweets candies toffees what else i don't do that again i remember the beginning of this year we're always going out my sisters my family like all of us her children we were always going out and maybe today we go out to eat chinese the following day we go out to eat pizza the next day we go out to eat ice cream and well there was a time we stopped at the supermarket and i just ran into like a section of chocolate and i was just picking everything there picking everything there i ended up with like eight bars of different types of chocolate haribo i don't even know what i was thinking of i'm just thinking of it now because me the Temi you are seeing now 
I don't think it's something I can do right now. What I'd rather pick now, if you take me out, is probably lettuce and celery or parsley. So I was just thinking of it. Like, why? Why was I doing that? And obviously, those chocolates I had, they told. They told a big story on my body. They told a big story on my weight. Like if you see me, you know I was eating chocolate. I was eating like two bars a day, and I was just you know doing uh, in the spirit of festivity. You know, calories don't count. Fam, you have to be disciplined. So I was there eating chocolate, doing this, doing that, licking candy, sweets. So it's been about two months now since I've had chocolate. That was in January. We are in March now. So it's been about, it's even more than two months since I've had chocolates now. And right now, the only things I eat for about six weeks going on now, the only things I eat are things that are needed in my nutrition. If I don't need this thing in my nutrition, it's not going to be in my plate. It's not going in my stomach. It's not going in my mouth. So I do carbohydrates, protein, vegetable, fats and oil, fruits, water, and the drinks I have are freshly made drinks, not the one that is artificially produced or the one with um, preservatives in them. We all know the ones I'm talking about. I don't do that alongside um, alongside soft drinks those two eh, they are in the same family don't be deceived because they have added sugar in it they just put so small um flavor maybe the pineapple just small it's like two drops they put there and you think that oh i'm drinking pineapple juice don't be deceived <laughs> If I'm to have any drink, I do the tiger nut milk, I do um, fresh juice, I do smoothies. I make sure the smoothie is really, really watery, especially if I want to just, you know, drink it down and so on. And there's a part, there is, there are some supermarkets that sell freshly squeezed juice. And those ones don't even stay long. Like if you go there in the morning, you see the next time you go there in the afternoon, like it's gone. People buy that a lot. So I try to buy that also and keep, if at all, I'm going to have anything. So so most of the time I take water so those are the only things I take so I just want to tell you guys that if you are still taking any of these things it's fine don't be in a rush I had my moments like I enjoyed my own time eating junk food and all that so just take your time try to cut it off one by one piece by piece and with time you know you'll be free i see some people when they are eating you know you'll be eating rice and be drinking coke next thing you're taking a bottle of wine another time you're taking hennequin farm save your kidney and drink water allow your kidney to thrive okay water is very very important i've seen somebody like you know water is very very important so please take a lot of water so these are the things i cut off from my diet completely if there's any other thing you cut off from your diet that i didn't mention please let me know in the comment section below let's get chatting also we've come to the end of this video please please remember to check out my other videos which will appear on your screen here and here i would love to see you in that next one you're about to click on let's go